My name's Zoe, I work in the Community Safety Team here at Arts and Borough Council. Um, we're here today doing Safer Streets Visit. Safer Streets is a project that started in 2011, which aims to offer residents in the area an array of services, including crime prevention advice, a free home fire safety check, um, also they can be offered a first aid awareness session, and just to let them know about all the local services in the area, including Community Hearts now. Um, and it's in response to a recent arson attack that happened in this area. Hi, my name is Lewis. Uh, I'm with Red Watch Boreham Wood from Hopch Fire and Rescue, and today we are in Boreham Wood doing safer streets in conjunction with the police, uh, the county council, and other members of the community. And the main reason why we're here, obviously, over the last six months, had a number of uh, issues regarding uh, fires around this area, and um, so we've just all come together and knocking on doors, uh, making sure that all the local community. Um, if they have any problems or issues, they can contact us um, nice face to face and it's a good uh, for community protection. Um, this as well, loads of local services. So you've got council, ourselves, police, fire, training standards, uh, health advice and community advice as well. Today has been about uh, doing what we call Safer Streets, which is a project that involves the council, environmental health, fire service and other local agencies. And the idea of it is to get in touch with our local residents and try and give some people some crime prevention advice and fire safety advice. Obviously we have had some issues in the area recently with um, bin fires, so it's also to give some ideas as to how to protect your houses against um, any kind of repercussions on that, so particularly keeping bins away from the house or wherever possible to secure them. Um, in terms of how the day's gone, I think we've done pretty well. We've knocked on 102 doors. Um, I'm not sure yet what the uptake's been like, but I'd say it's probably at least 50%. Um, so we've certainly had some people who've had some concerns which we've put their minds at ease. The job can be um, quite difficult sometimes in terms of what we're dealing with. A lot of it's quite confrontational so we're going to crimes as and when they happen and we don't often get to see people at the best times so this gives us a bit more of an opportunity to get in touch with local residents when they're feeling a little bit more at ease and you know and they're a little bit more comfortable talking to us rather than having to deal with us in the heat at the moment. So I think it does help us to sort of get to know people on a little bit more of a one-to-one -one basis and maybe just build up relationships and build up a little bit more sense of trust in the police and that we're not just here to be there when you're going to be punished but we're also here to sort of help keep you safe.